The biggest thing about dance for me is that it's provided an opportunity for me to express emotion and communicate things about myself or things I'm feeling or things that I'm going through that I might not otherwise be able to. It's still a way that I do life. To do Manon was very much like that. Carabas and Sleeping Beauty. Cinderella. West Side Story Suite. Taming of the Shrew. White Potida and Yuri Killian's Forgotten Land. Watching it with my mouth on the floor, being like, ugh, this, this is a dancer. When you're partnering with her, she really kind of pulls you into the moment, which is really where you want to be as a performing artist. To feel what I think is become one of my most important goals in dance for myself as a dancer and then as a choreographer. It just like taps into something so much deeper that we all can feel that isn't something that has words. Jardy Tancat is another one. It's communicating so much through the movement, through the music. That's another ballet that was really touching to me to get to do. It's rare to get an opportunity to have an original full-length story ballet created on you. I mean, that's like such a gift. She as a person had had that sort of experience. It just felt really right. For me to do that ballet, it takes a lot out of me and it's really dear to me. She's been there, she's done that, she's lived it and felt it and I think that's what makes her even more of a, a really exceptional artist. She's so theatrically talented. She's such an incredible actress and singer and we're really fortunate that she brought her gifts to ballet. Melody's continuing to evolve and grow as an artist. You can see that reflected in her performances and you can see that in the work that she's beginning to create. It's just something that makes you want to watch her, makes you want to work with her. I'm sitting with anticipation trying to see what she's going to bring to the table.